All right, so what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a quick little video for you guys. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys an app that I think is absolutely perfect for making YouTube thumbnails. And the app is called Fonto. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and search it. Uh, just type in this Fonto in the search bar. And it's usually the first one that pops up and it is. Look at the uh, stars and the reviews. It looks absolutely amazing. This is what the app looks like right here, a couple of screenshots. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Um, so this is what the app looks like right here in the top left-hand corner. Forgot to show you guys that. But this app is absolutely amazing for making YouTube thumbnails. If you are a brand new YouTuber and you need something that to make your, your thumbnails, uh, you know, this is the app for you. Um, try not to do, like when you upload a video, try not to use like those thumbnails like those thumbnails that the YouTube uploader thingy gives you uh, you want thumbnails that will like get the viewers attention um, if you can put yourself in the thumbnail uh, um, but if you can't that's fine but you want your thumbnails to pop out you want your thumbnails to to um, you want your thumbnails to catch the eye of the viewer. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to choose a random picture out of my camera roll. Uh, let's go with this one right here. Uh, Tanner Fox's GTR, what I'm going to do is uh, add text. <coughs> and I'm going to say uh, hashtag guaczilla. All right, so there's that. So you... There's multiple things you can do with the lettering on this game. So there's text, obviously, there's font. This right here is, I think, it's called the luckiest guy right here, uh, the, the orange one. I think that is, like, the most, like, cliche-looking uh, font for, like, for thumbnails, if you ask me. Um, but there's a whole lot more fonts than that. Don't worry, guys. Seriously, like, I there's too many to choose from, I almost think. But there's that, and then there's style. Style is, is probably the most important uh, in terms of wording. Um, for stroke, you can choose if you, um, like the stroke is basically the outlining of the uh, text. I usually go with black, uh, and I change the width on it. I make it thicker to make the lettering pop out even more. Uh, also with style, you can change the text uh, color. So you can do red, this, and that, pink whatever I usually either go with white or I uh, go with this orange like yellowish kind of because I think that I think that really pops out uh, let me do size you can do size here so that's way too big there we go that's better I'm gonna tilt it a little bit so you can tilt it 100 360 degrees All right so you could do that uh, moving it is kind of stupid because you can just do that with your finger just press on it um, but yeah that's that's pretty much about it for the lettering um, also you can add uh, items and images so like, let's say you wanted to add let's say you want to add this make it look like an Instagram photo or something I don't know but you can add items just like that it's kind of dumb but you can add there's more I'm gonna show you right here there's more items you can add. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna make it look like, here, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this on the bottom and do that. And change, tilt it back, make it look straight. Good. Size, make this size a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to add uh, a text again. And I'm going to change the size on this to make it a little bit smaller. Change the style uh, to black. And then maybe I'll do a white stroke. I've never done that before. So that looks like that actually looks pretty cool. Uh, it's still a little bit small, or too, still a little bit too big. You can always add multiple texts. So I'm going to do that and then add another text and say that style do black stroke white 
change the width on it. I honestly think changing the width on the stroke makes it pop out even more. But yeah, see that's, I mean that's a pretty cool thumbnail right there. Um, hashtag Guaxilla and speech bubble says drive me. I mean that's pretty cool. So you, there's different things you can do with the app. Um, just something uh, I wanted to show you real quick. I honestly think this is like one of the best apps you can have to make a thumbnail. This is all I've been using to make all my thumbnails. Um, people have told me that my thumbnails look like like actual, like really popular YouTubers, like what they would do uh, on their thumbnails as well. But yeah, there's also, there's other apps you can use too, but I think this is the best. Um, let me see if I forgot anything else. Add image, you can also add uh, external images onto your current image. So you can do this, you can add as many as you want. Um, you can also do the size, tilt, move, alpha, this and that. Alpha is, you know, that right there, make it transparent. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it because I think this is actually pretty cool. I'm gonna save that actually, that's pretty cool. Um, that's pretty much about it though. Um, you can choose plain image, I'm gonna reset it. You can choose plain images as well. So you can just start off from scratch. So let's say you wanted to have a blank background just like that. You can add text and you know, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Um, blah 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 so yeah that's pretty much about it that's pretty much all I can think of guys if this app if this video helped you uh, go down smash obliterate that like button guys and uh, if this app or I keep saying this app if this video uh, persuaded you to get this app um, please go ahead and download download the app um, it's on Apple App Store I'm not sure if it's on Android or not but this is a great app for thumbnails. If you guys found this video helpful, comment down below and interact. And as always, subscribe to my channel if you are new, because why not? It's free.